Well, as we continue our coverage of Hurricane Florence this week, the storm was downgraded to a tropical depression today since Friday. Parts of North Carolina have received more than 30 inches of rain, and in some places it is still pouring and the rivers are still rising. Many of them won't crest before Monday. The strongest storm bands are dumping two to three inches of rain per hour. That's enough to cause flooding in areas that have never flooded before. And new mandatory evacuation orders were issued today, but some escape routes are impassable already. Hundreds of stranded uh, residents have had to be rescued by helicopter. Countless trees and power lines are down across the region, leaving hundreds of thousands of homes and businesses in the dark. Repair crews are on standby, but it could be weeks before they'll be able to go everywhere that they need to go to help people. And we're trying to track this storm with Beth Finello, who's in for Jamie tonight. And they're thinking this is going to go north at this point tonight? Yes, yeah. Florence is expected to trek north through Tennessee and Kentucky and eventually out through Pennsylvania, New Jersey and New York. This is a three hour radar loop. And like the governor of North Carolina said, there are lines of rain that are still dropping two to three inches of rainfall after already seeing over two feet of rain over the last several days. This is a 48 hours. This is only over the past two hours or two days of rainfall. And you can see there are bands that have seen over two feet of rain. This one specific area has seen 19 inches in two days. Mind you, this storm has been has been producing rain for three to four days, and this is what tropical depression Florence looks like now moving north at 14 miles per hour. If you remember, the storm was only moving at about two to three miles per hour, but is now going to eventually make its way out of the Carolinas, giving them some relief from the rain. Here, what we need relief from is the heat. It was very warm today, 89 degrees here in Springfield, 88 in Rolla, and it did hit 90 down in West Plains, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw more 90s on the board throughout the rest of the week as well. Things are quiet on radar. We do have a little shower just west of Gainesville and just south of the state line. That activity will fade away throughout the night. It's going to be a warm night. Temperatures at 78, dew point at 67, and that's how it is across the area. Temperatures in the middle to upper 70s, dew points in the middle to upper 60s. It's very humid outside, and that's what we're going to be seeing over the next several days throughout much of the week. In terms of rain chances, I think we'll have some isolated showers, mainly in our eastern counties. There's more moisture there, so that's what we'll see more rain shower opportunity. And then by Tuesday morning, temperatures still going to be warm. Heading out the door, you'll see temperatures in the 70s. This is the moisture I was talking about, just a little bit more moisture in our eastern counties, and that's who is the best chance at seeing showers today and tomorrow. Monday into Tuesday, our wind is going to shift coming out of the southwest. That will bring in this moisture, and we'll see some brighter colors on this map later in the week. Overnight tonight, temperatures in the upper 60s, warm and muggy conditions tomorrow. As you're heading out the door to go back to school for the beginning of your work week, might leave a couple extra minutes, might see some patchy fog out there. Temperatures still very warm though, right around 70, and then by dismissal, temperatures in the upper 80s in some places, much like we saw today, could reach 90. And then Tuesday, that's how it's going to stay, Wednesday and Thursday. And then by Friday, we'll have an isolated storm chance as a cold front will come through. Keep showers Saturday and Sunday for the first day of fall. All right, Beth.